Hello beautiful people, I hope you guys are doing well and having a wonderful day. In this planner tutorial, I'm going to be showing you basically a tip for um, working in a production. Because recently I was asked in a project I'm working in to kind of rename lots of objects. So basically these objects are similar, but we want, wanted them to have different number, um, increments of numbers as they progressed. So, um, like it was basically like a bed wing so we had we wanted to separate the the feathers and kind of rename it so basically this is the name setup we, we kind of use it's not one on one but it's kind of close to it so we have the bed indicating the asset we have the wing or you can name this feather um, either way and then we have this um kind of showing the position so this is going to this is the left and this is the right so we have to indicate that and then we have the numbers that will grow incrementally so it's going to get higher also we don't want like a zero to be in front so or like double zero so we just want it to be um, whole numbers and then we will name this poly at the end of it so i'm going to go ahead and show you um, if in case like you don't get the first time i do it you can watch it again and try it it's basically try and error and you definitely get it after a while okay so I've gone ahead to set up the scene um, we have the body of the bed which I just roughly named and we can hide this and I've gone ahead to separate the different the feathers so I'm going to walk on the left part of it just gonna box select this and then go to edit I want to select batch re uh, rename so this is the UI and it's pretty much quite it's self explanatory. It does a good job in kind of making it easy for you just trying to understand it to use it. So you have selected, it's going to indicate the object selected. You have all and it's going to try to batch rename all the objects in your scene. So we're going to leave it at selected and it's going to select the type of asset. So in this case, we're trying to rename objects. Um, so you have the ability to rename materials, meshes. So basically, everything you learn here is going to be applicable to other types of assets that you'll be working with. Next, we have the type. Basically, you have um, find and replace. Basically, it's going to find a particular name. So if you, if you have a test, if you have like uh, I, I can quickly show you. So let's say. The name of this object um, we want to replace blue to red so that's where we use the find and replace so we can go to edit bring um, battery name so we want to find and replace blue and we want to replace it with red okay so you can choose whether it's case sensitive for most part you want to uncheck this if we hit okay we can see it has gone ahead to replace all the blue or the select object from blue to red um, so this is quite helpful because it saves you a lot of time so let's keep going um, next we have set name so this has different methods so if you hit new it's going to basically replace the entire name so we can call this feathers so it just renames everything but adds um, increments of numbers at the side so we keep going keep selecting the wrong one so we also have prefix and suffix so the prefix is uh, if you want to add extra text in front of the name of the, of the name then you can use the prefix the suffix is um, doing the same but it's going to add it at the last part of the text so if you want to add like um, bed in front of the feather so we'll just click ok and it's going to add bed underscore feather in front of the test and um, the surface is basically doing the same thing okay uh, so string character change case this are stuff we'll probably not be um, using in this tutorial but it's pretty much um, explanatory you can use it to add digits and punctuations or remove certain stuff you can use this to change the case of the test 
so if we want all of this to be uppercase we can just hit ok and it makes it uppercase okay so let's go ahead and actually do something productive so i'm going to select all of these so the name we want to give this is uh, bed wing underscore l okay so i'm going to copy this and go to battery name and then i want to select set name new i'll paste it okay and hit okay so we get the name so it's now bedwing underscore l dot oh oh one so we like we saw here we don't want any zero before the one we just want it to be um just whole numbers not we don't want any zero in front um i think that's a whole number of course uh, because there's no decimal but um you get my point so we need to remove those zeros in front of the uh, ones so to do that uh, we'll go to find and replace so you can also find and replace anything basically um so we want to find and replace the punctuation and the double zero and if you leave this blank it's basically just going to delete anything it finds related to this so it's so we can notice it has deleted um Sorry. Okay, I just uh, made a little mistake. Uh, I mean, it's not a big mistake. We could fix it easily. So I wanted it to be bed wing underscore L underscore then nothing because I don't want it to be like L1. I want there to be an underscore. So I'll just quickly re fix that. So I'm going to do set name and have an underscore there after the L. And hit OK. So it should fix that, and then we do the find and replace. Okay, so now it's as expected. So we need to delete the single uh, zeros too. So battery name. So we want to let it find the one with just one zeros and delete that. So as you can see, we now have it appearing as bed wing underscore one on this uh, uh, underscore left side underscore one and it's just work uh, it's kind of it just kind of goes down from there so what's left now is to add the underscore poly so as i told you um not so long ago to add this in the um, back of it it's as easy as going to the suff uh, suffix in the set um set name so we want to add underscore poly and we hit OK and we see we've created that. So it's now bedwing underscore L underscore one and it goes from there underscore poly. So we'll quickly do that for the right side. I'm just gonna copy this battery name. So set new name. We paste it, okay, and we look for the, the zeros to delete. By the way, you can access this by pressing on Control uh, Ctrl F2. So if you hit Ctrl F2, you should get this menu quickly. So we want to go ahead and find and replace. So we'll do that. Find and replace um, zero, 00. Okay. Uh, made another mistake. Uh, set name and it is to be r for the right side i know if you have picked that up you put it in the comments and you call me out for that <laughs> okay so i'm gonna hit okay and that's the correct one um find and replace okay and we do that again and final touch to set name suffix underscore poly so we have success, successfully um, done that and we have the bright part so i think if i do select um i don't know if there's a way we could select by the test but basically if you search for r yeah it should load like object related to r i mean it just makes things more organized especially for production um, there are a lot of advantages to naming your files uh, especially like stuff like this that are just repeating it themselves 
just makes it easy to select and make easy to organize stuff. So yeah, that's it, guys. Um, I hope this was helpful. I know this is not really exciting um, compared to other things, uh, but yeah, this is quite important. So basically, working in your production or working on your own personal project, um, people you work with, we thank you for this. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you wish to see more from me, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Uh, the channel has been growing so um, quite well. I mean, cons consistently. And I appreciate you guys, especially the new ones that John. And I also appreciate all of you that have stuck with me for this very long time. I'll try my best to keep uploading regularly and also uploading quite useful content um, for your productions. So thank you so much. Uh, bye for now. See you next time.